How strong are you? How many push-ups? How many pull-ups? It's a good thing I've got my shirt on here, or you would be amazed at this arm. Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. I'm Andy Ross, pastor at Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona. Do you ever lift weights? Do you work out? In our Lenten uh, Holy Habits series that we're going through each morning, today's topic relates to strength. Are you strong? You know, a verse that is often cited by lots of people about strength, I hear it from athletes, I see it on uh, bumper stickers, t-shirts, is from Philippians chapter 4. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Now, that's the New International Version, and I think it's more accurate because it relates to the earlier things that the Apostle Paul was listing about his life. Listen to this. This is from Philippians chapter 4. I rejoiced greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned but you had no opportunity to show it. I'm not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry whether living in plenty or in want, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Sometimes verse four, thir chapter 4, 13 is, is repeated or said, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. And that can lead us folks to think, well, we can jump tall buildings. We will be able to run faster than a speeding bullet. We can do everything in Christ who... And I don't think that's what Paul is saying. He's linking strength in Jesus, which equips him to be content at peace in every situation he faces. How is your strength as you start this week? It's grounded in the grace of our Savior who will never leave us or forsake us, who is with us in every situation we're facing. So whether you're hungry, whether you're full, whether you're living with material resources or not, whether you are in an emotional situation that could be distressing, I want you folks today and this week to flex your strength, but it's not yours. The strength comes from our Savior who is with you. His Holy Spirit is in you. Jesus will guide you to find strength for contentment for whatever you face. Have a great Monday and a great week. May the Lord be with you.